Let's turn these pillows into anthro pillows. You're going to start with a bath mat and it's important to get a bath mat that has a backing on it and you're going to cut little squares. I cut a couple different colors. I started with the pinkish color and I cut five of those and then I grabbed a mustard bath mat and I cut four of those. Now grab some fabric glue because this is a no sew project which I love no sew projects and put the glue on the back of each square. And I alternated colors, so pink, yellow, pink, the next row was yellow, pink, yellow, and so on. And just do that until you get each one down. Then I found this really cool fluffy yarn, and I decided to put that around this. And the interesting thing is when you put it around that, that square is gonna end up looking like a circle. So you're gonna put the no sew glue or fabric glue around there, and then add your yarn and I used white all around each one but I'm going to add one more detail that I think is going to be really cool and just keep going until you get them all covered. Now I'm adding a turquoise thinner yarn that's kind of a fluffy yarn around the white but I didn't do it on all of the pieces and I used a fuchsia yarn around a few of the circles. This turned out so cute. I can't believe that it's from a bath mat and yarn. Literally looks like it's from anthropology. Now let's start on pillow number two. Grab another bath mat and on this pillow, we're gonna use that same pink and we're gonna make some stripes. You're really gonna wanna gauge this based on your pillow, depending on the size of your pillow. And so I cut out three stripes that are in different sizes. And then I'm gonna take my no sew glue, which I love, and we're gonna use that and add each one of those stripes down to the pillow. And make sure you put enough glue, but don't oversaturate it, otherwise it will, it will bleed through. Then I'm gonna add that same fluffy white yarn that we used on the other pillow, and I'm gonna put it around each one of these stripes, and that'll add another detail. This pillow already looks good, and we're still gonna add one more detail. Now let's add some pom-poms. And the easiest way is with a pom-pom maker. This thing is invaluable and you will use it with so many projects. So you're gonna open up your pom-pom maker and then you're gonna take your yarn, hold the ball of yarn is gonna to be to the right side and you're just gonna wrap it around until you fill it up and make it as fat as you can so you, when you close it, it barely closes. And that's how you'll have a nice fluffy one. And then you snip it and on the other side, I'm using purple. So one side is orange, one side's purple and then I just keep doing that until they're even. Close it up, and you're gonna take your scissors and cut right through that little groove on both sides. Now grab another piece of yarn about a foot long, and you're gonna put it in that groove and pull it really tight. This is how you're gonna attach it to your pillows. And you're gonna wanna pull it super tight, you'll almost hear a click, and then do two knots to make sure it's totally secure. And now, the cool part, you're gonna open up those little levers and reveal your pom-pom. This is so satisfying doing this part. It is so darn cute. And just fluff up your pom-pom and then trim any excess you have on the outside of your pom-pom. Now this one, I started with orange and purple, but I decided I wanted to add white. And really, I wish I had done this first because I think this one turned out the coolest. Now you're gonna take an embroidery needle and you want one that has a point, not a dull end. And you're gonna stick your hand inside your pillowcase. Then put your needle through the corner on one side and then pull it out on the other side. After you take off your needle, take the two strings and wrap that around a few times and then you're gonna to wanna to slip knot it. And I did a slip knot twice. Then snip off the ends and to make it even more secure, I took some fabric glue and put a tiny little dab of glue there just to make sure that it's secure. Now just add the remaining pom-poms on each corner. And you're done. You stick your insert back into your pillowcase and it turns from this to that. I think these turn out even better than I envisioned. And you will never look at a bath mat in the same way. I hope you guys love today's project. I swear, these look like anthropology, right? This is one of my anthropology pillows, but look at these, right? 
all from a bath mat. I hope you guys love it. And until next time, bye.